Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Gafey and I'm someone that loves to do a lot of things girly makeup accessories you name it one of my favorite things to do is just to do unboxings and basically i just love to shop for really good quality on trend pieces for any women of any size of course but i specifically like to choose pieces that fit petite women really nicely today we're going to be doing a try on from the brand reformation reformation is one of my favorite places to shop they have such cute girly pieces that you can think of they carry accessories like from shoes to hats all sorts of clothing and that includes workout clothes underwear swimwear uh, formal wear even weddings the plus is for me as to why I shop at reformation it's a sustainable clothing brand I'll make sure to link that information down below for you guys to do some research on if that's something you are passionate about just like me and second is that they carry a good line for petite a few of my favorite pieces to purchase at reformation are the dresses they carry such beautiful cute dresses and a lot of times they have them in petite sizes today's gonna be a little bit different I did a haul for blouses and like just tops including the one I'm wearing right now just super cute and girly none of these pieces are specifically sized for petites but one of the things that I find with Reformation is that a lot of their clothes do fit me really well so this is something I definitely want to share with you guys a lot of their tops are just super cute they don't always come in petite sizes it's mostly like their jeans and dresses their tops are just adorable and perfect so I did a little haul here and found some really cute girly unique pieces um, and I just kind of want to show you guys what I would purchase this piece here I bought months ago at the beginning of spring and I just absolutely love this piece it's just a linen top here I'll definitely show you more in detail of how this looks like and how I style it the price points on these pieces are they're not like super affordable they do have sales these sales happen twice a year at least from my experience I believe they just finish having a sale or it could still be going on right now um, usually towards the end of the warm weather like summer and spring and then they do another one just right before the holidays or like right after uh, the holidays it's always good to keep an eye out on the sales because their stuff is a little bit expensive so I always like to pick things up like when I get a deal or I keep an eye out on them and keep them in my cart for a while but anyway I don't want to keep you guys uh, too long I'm sure you guys want to see what these pieces look like so give me a quick second I'll be right back okay guys this is the one that I was wearing in my intro it is a linen peplum top very form-fitting because it's linen it there isn't a lot of stretch to it but there is a little bit of smocking in the back that allows it to mold better to your fit and I'll show you that in the back it's a beige base color with a little bit of pink neutral tone floral prints to it so cute it almost looks like a corset top the way that it's stitched in this chest area here and then it has a little bow detail on both sides and then the back does have a zip up feature I think it's just so cute and flattering to the neckline here it's just adorable you can wear this with shorts I chose to wear it with a pair of high-waisted jeans that are cropped and some girly bow mules because I figured why not go all in with the bows it's not shouting out too much pink just little hints of pink to kind of just even out this really girly detail blouse super cute So here's the next piece and it's this tank blouse here and it's pink of course I believe this might come in another color when I saw this pink corset kind of tank I had to get it because there's so many elements about this that screams girly feminine besides the pink it's a chiffon fabric and it has like this really cute kind of corset shape to it and in the breast area it has this kind of like scallop uh, pin tuck detail here which kind of reminds me of like a little mermaid <laughs> kind of thing super cute I would say this runs a little small I might need to size up on this I'm gonna get it close so you can see the back it has like smocking in the back as well with a zip closure and then it's like a spaghetti strap but it's like a bow 
a detail spaghetti strap super cute little piece here it lands right at the waist but i just went ahead and tucked it into my pants not very much longer than this area it's not like super crop but it does have like a crop length to it just a really nice basic girly little piece and i like absolutely love this Here's the next piece, and I think this is a good transitional piece into the cooler weather. So it's almost like this gauzy fabric. It has a very low neckline, as you can see, so if you're not comfortable showing this much uh, skin, then maybe this isn't the best for you, and that's okay. It has like a slight peplum detail, just a very minor one. It has a zip closure on the side here and it's more fitted at the waist which kind of gives you also a little bit of that corset detail to it but not fully the neckline goes from the top all the way down um, and it just kind of shows a little bit of skin but not so much where it like just buttons everything here so it's like not super revealing but almost kind of just borderline too much skin but i think it's just so pretty and feminine but i'm surprised about how much room i have in the arm and shoulder area considering that I always tend to get a little bit snug in the shoulder area I'm a little bit more full on the shoulders but there's a lot of room here to move around in there is a little bit of a nice button hook detail here and some like eyelet detail um, going along the front and then the arms is like it has a little bit of like a stretchiness um, and it's like a tiered long sleeve uh, gauzy kind of fabric with this like little bell sleeve something very vintage looking about this top that I love if you're going out to dinner with friends I think this blouse and some cute mules like this with jeans will really even it out you'll be dressy but yet casual and comfortable at the same time it's just so super cute little piece here and I'm just like in love with this Okay, this is the next piece and it's this green bodysuit. I'm not big on bodysuits and I've just recently started learning to love them. I got some like 70s vibes from this. I paired it with some high-waisted bell bottoms and some clogs and I thought it would just look adorable. I believe this would be true to size. I'm wearing a size small and it's still, I don't feel restricted like with most bodysuits. It's a nice ribbed fabric with this like lettuce tank top detail and I think this is what makes it so unique. I think it's just so cute. It's a low wide round neckline but that lettuce detail is a trim all the way around the neckline and in the shoulders and all the way back and I'm going to show you. It is a button detail at the crotch so that's how you would put it on and take it off. The back here it goes down lower. It's almost like a bathing suit but it's not a bathing suit but it has that shape. I just absolutely adore this piece. I don't have any tank tops in this color nor do I have any tank tops or body suits that look similar to this and I had to pick this up because it's just so girly and cute. So comfortable to wear especially in the warm weather and I just absolutely love this piece. This is the last piece and it's this ruffled linen white top and I think it is so adorable. Again, the screams like vintage vibes to me. It is a crop top and if you're like me, you don't like to expose a lot of waist. One of the tricks I do is wear like really high waisted jeans or pants. It does give me this like poof like bigger silhouette up top because of the ruffle detail so I went ahead and wore a pair of jeans that would kind of just even out this whole like look. It's a linen piece here um, and it has like this really wide neckline with this ruffle detail that goes all the way on the collar and I believe it goes all the way in the back as well. There is some smocking in the back with the same zip 
uh, closure, which I think is really cool. It gives you that space and room to kind of mold to your body a little bit better. And then the sleeves go all the way down to your elbow and it has that little stretchiness at the elbow here with that bell sleeve. Super cute little piece here. I adore this so much love this and uh, I would say this is true to size for sure which I'm surprised with with most linen pieces I tend to like have to like size up but there is enough stretch in the back where it does fit me really nice All right, guys, that's everything that I purchased for my Reformation haul. I know the price point on some of these pieces are a little bit higher, but one thing I do that helps me save some money with Reformation is that I donate clothes to Thread Up, and I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but Thread Up is it's probably one of the biggest online consignment like companies where you can actually go and purchase like uh, pre-loved items, and you can actually donate to them as well. You can request a kit from them, and they'll send it to you for free for you to go ahead and send items for them to give you credit to make purchases through their Thread Up website. But ThreadUp also partners with certain companies, and Reformation is one of the companies that they partner up with. So I like to go and donate items there for free, and what Reformation does is in exchange they will give me credit to use towards purchasing items from their website or purchasing items from their partnered companies, including Reformation. I believe another brand that just signed with ThreadUp is... Um, is it Fabletics you can also use those credits to make purchases from Fabletics as well and I believe there's a long list of other companies that partner up with them and it just helps to encourage people not to throw pieces away and to recycle them just because it's better for the planet anyway that's everything I hope you guys enjoyed these pieces that I picked up because I definitely do I think they're just the cutest pieces let me know which piece was your favorite in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe I'll make sure to link all the information in the pieces that I picked up down below in the description box for you guys, including my new Instagram account. If you wanted to get to know me a little bit more, it's this thing that I just started. Um, you guys can see outfits, accessories, makeup that I don't always showcase in my YouTube videos, but definitely a place where you can get to know me and maybe I can get to know you guys. I would love to see you guys there. Thank you so much again for joining me in this Reformation haul and try on. You guys have an awesome day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.